Did you know that 80% of global trade is transported by sea? Every day, thousands of enormous cargo ships traverse the oceans carrying millions of tons of goods. However, these vessels also contribute to releasing a staggering 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year. While most industries are aggressively pursuing innovation and new technologies to cut down carbon emissions, the maritime shipping sector has only just begun to explore green alternatives. Interestingly, they are achieving this by reviving an ancient method, harnessing the power of wind, the original engine of the seas. Yes, they are experimenting with a new technology known as wind-assisted propulsion to power massive ultra-heavy ships across the oceans. The concept is straightforward. Equip vessels with advanced wing sails that capture wind energy, much like traditional sailboats of the past. It may sound surprising, but this technology is quite remarkable, with the potential to reduce fuel consumption by up to 30%. The ship Pixis Ocean equipped with wind wings embarked on a journey from China to Brazil, and 30% of its propulsion came from wind power. So who is driving this incredible innovation? How does it work? And could this new technology revolutionize the maritime shipping industry? Let's find out. The vessel Pixis Ocean, originally built in 2017, has been retrofitted with two 123-foot-tall wind-wing sails. This technology, developed by the UK-based company Bar Technologies and manufactured by Norway's Yara Marine Technologies, represents a significant advancement in maritime engineering. Engineers worked tirelessly at the Costco shipyard in Shanghai, China, to install the new system, which is constructed from foldable steel and fiberglass. They also conducted extensive tests to ensure the system's compatibility, safety, and effectiveness. Once the vessel was ready, it underwent a brief test sail from Shanghai to Singapore. In August 2023, it set off from Singapore on a three-week journey to Brazil, carrying thousands of tons of goods, while testing the effectiveness of the new windwing system. Six months later, its owners at the shipping company Cargill shared the results of the journey, and it sounds like the vertical windwing sails could offer a promising way to reduce existing vessels' emissions. Pixis Ocean reportedly saved an average of 3.3 tons of fuel each day, and in optimal weather conditions, it reduced fuel consumption by over 12 tons a day. According to Cargill's math, that's an average of 14% less greenhouse gas emissions from the ship. Before we dive deeper into this topic, please take a second to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as it's the best way to support this channel. The vessel Pixis Ocean is a bulk carrier, a type of merchant ship specifically designed to transport unpackaged bulk cargo like grain, coal, minerals, steel coils, and cement in its cargo holds. These ships make up about 25% of the global merchant fleet and vary in size, from smaller single-hold bulk carriers to massive vessels capable of carrying over 400,000 metric tons. Typically, these ships are powered by a single two-stroke low-speed crosshead diesel engine, which is directly connected to a fixed-pitch propeller. The engines used in such ships are enormous, about the size of a four-story apartment building. Given their massive size and reliance on fossil fuels, they are significant polluters, emitting large amounts of carbon dioxide per nautical mile. In fact, bulk carriers are on par with tankers in terms of emissions and produce two and a half times more carbon dioxide than container ships. However, there is a silver lining. If the Wind Wings technology proves effective, it could be combined with low-carbon fuels to achieve even greater fuel savings for shipping companies, potentially reducing their carbon footprint by up to 50%. If the shift to green hydrogen is achieved, that number goes up to 99%, which is quite impressive and possible, but is also costly and will take a couple of decades to implement on a global and comprehensive scale. Bar Technologies and Yara Marine Technologies are also already planning to build hundreds of wings of various sizes over the next four years, with orders already rolling in. One of the reasons this project is of such immense importance has to do with the corporate giants behind it. With this technology that is already being achieved, the shipping industry can finally begin to not just cut carbon dioxide emissions, 
but also achieve more profits while mitigating inflation. Pixis Ocean was developed by Mitsubishi Corporation, which is Japan's largest trading company and has been in the shipbuilding business since 1884. It is the world's second biggest shipbuilder after Hyundai Heavy Industries. The company has been increasingly innovating in alternative fuels for its colossal global fleet and fleets owned by its client base. The second giant involved in the Wind Wings technology is Cargill, a global food corporation. It is also the largest privately held company in the United States in terms of revenue, and it is responsible for more than 25% of all United States grain exports. Its global operations are of indescribable scale. So naturally, it owns and leases an incredibly large fleet of containers and mostly dry bulk carriers. These vessels make more than 6,500 port calls per year and move over 220 million tons of different dry bulk commodities. The involvement of Cargill and Mitsubishi Corporation in the Wind Wings project is of immense importance and can lead other giants to follow suit and create a ripe ground for competition in developing even more efficient systems. Now let's take a closer look at this new technology and understand how it works. Wind-assisted propulsion involves reducing a vessel's fuel consumption by using sails or other wind-capturing devices. In recent years, rising fuel costs and related crises along with government pressure on shipbuilders and operators to reduce carbon dioxide emissions have led to the development and accelerated adoption of advanced wind-assisted technologies. But converting wind energy into thrust for a modern ship is more complex than it seems, especially since today's cargo ships are about 1,000 times heavier than the old large wooden sailing ships. Early ships were specifically designed around the sails that propelled them. In contrast, modern commercial ships are designed primarily for carrying cargo, with large clear decks and minimal overhead rigging to facilitate loading and unloading. This means that wind wings must not interfere with deck operations. Currently, three main concepts are leading the way in wind-assisted propulsion. Wind sails, kite sails, and the Flettner rotor. The Pixis Ocean bulk carrier utilizes wind sail technology. Wind sail designs are regarded as the most effective option, typically featuring an automated system of large, solid, rectangular sails supported by cylindrical masts. These systems are also designed to tilt, allowing ships to pass under bridges. Fully automated, the sails adjust their orientation to optimize efficiency based on wind direction and speed. The wind wings developed by Barr and Yara are highly advanced. Their system can be installed on the decks of both tankers and bulk vessels, and can be folded away with the press of a button. All components are constructed from high-quality, durable, marine-grade materials, ensuring that the system is efficient, reliable, and safe by design. Additionally, the system is integrated with a Ship System Efficiency Analysis Tool, a unique software that combines accurate simulation and interaction of hydrodynamic and propulsion systems with custom optimization, performance prediction, and routing features. The individual success of Pixis Ocean is encouraging news, but that's just one of the 110,000 or so merchant ships in the world. One of the primary challenges with this technology is the integration of wind wings with existing ship designs. Most ships currently in operation were not designed with wind propulsion in mind, which means retrofitting them with wind wings can be complex and costly. On top of that, wind wings take up space on the deck of the ship, which can reduce the available area for cargo containers or other types of freight. Additionally, ports are currently designed to accommodate shipping vessels' traditional proportions. That 125 feet of height, added by wind wings, could potentially complicate docking in many locations. Moreover, the efficiency of wind wings is highly dependent on the ship's route and weather conditions. Ships operating in regions with low wind speeds or in confined waterways where maneuverability is critical may not benefit as much from wind-assisted propulsion. As you can see, the adoption of this technology is not without its challenges. But according to officials at Cargill, they are already working to address these issues, and the company has begun talking to over 250 ports to figure out the logistics needed to accommodate such ships. 
If the challenges are effectively addressed, wind-assisted propulsion could play a key role in shaping the future of sustainable shipping. What are your thoughts on this new technology? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.